Sunday, November the 17th, 2019, about 4.20 in the afternoon, and we are, we're out here at ISCA, International Society of Character Artists. Joining us is Andre Bland. There we go, <laughs> Andre. And this little mini-sode is gonna be a story that happened to Andre during the Peanut Festival in Dothan, Alabama, this year. Something that happened. Okay, do you have the whole story? Should I set I it up? I got the whole story. He's got the whole story <laughs> so, here. So this is what happened. You know, Mary Kay and I, we, I, I flew in town, Mary Kay drove in, and and when we ended up meeting up, we were, we were roommates at an Airbnb. So we go shopping, we go to buy some art supplies at Michael's, we were going to buy some warm clothes at Target because when I was leaving Phoenix, you know, I didn't pack any warm clothes and it was freezing cold. So, we get into the store. First, we get a target. They was working with a we Now, we're already at a minute, so we're trying we're, we're trying to keep this under five minutes. Just keep that okay, in mind. Okay. So, I see this mom and her kid, and the kid's like <laughs> smiling and waving at me. So, I wave back and I tell the mom, you should get a character, or get, get a character for the kid. It was all cool. She's like, I'd love that. So, then. Like, I'm working at the Peanut Festival. Come on yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, then I. We go to Michael's after that, and um, Mary Kay's buying some supplies. I'm walking around. I socialize with a couple of workers, and that was about the extent of it. She goes to the restroom, and we walk outside. We go to the fair a couple of days later. I find out this dude who was who was following me at the store. Did you see him at the time? I when I saw his account, I realized I did see him. I just didn't realize he was stalking me and taking pictures. He was taking pictures of you. So he starts taking pictures, and he, he like conveniently cropped Mary Kay out of the entire photo <laughs> and like left her out of the story and said I was like kidnapping moms and daughters, specifically moms and daughters. Now the irony is that you know I wouldn't mind flirting with some moms and daughters. But he just happened to catch me yeah, when I wasn't let's, actually let's doing Let's back that. up a minute. You wouldn't mind flirting with some moms. Let's leave yeah. the daughters out of it. If they're, uh, if they're of age. Ah, thank okay. you. Okay, two copies coming. Yes. But, but, like, the thing is, is that I wasn't doing anything harmful at all. I just, I spoke to one person, and then maybe two or three workers, they okay. were actually talking to me. And so, anyway, a worker, so a, like, a customer comes up to me and is oh, like, you're the kidnapper. And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? And then another person called me a kidnapper and shows me this screenshot on Facebook. And we go and look it up, and this dude made a whole post. And I was like, what the? Apparently, his post got 150 shares, and his wife posted as well. And hers got 200 shares in, like, an hour or two. So, okay, and so they were claiming that you were trying to kidnap moms and daughters. Yes, yes. Okay, and what was their, like, did they have any evidence of this claim? There was no evidence. He said that There I, was, like, no police report or anything. No police it was, report, nothing. Okay, finish what you were saying, I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he claimed that, like, I had scared off some people, but there was nobody scared off. The one person, I only spoke to one person that was mom, and she was, like, saying, I want to bring my kid. So she seemed excited. Other than that, I only spoke to workers, so he just made stuff up. Okay, so he said you were scaring people out of the store or out of out of the out of the peanut butter. Like I don't know. I have not no really clarified. It wasn't really clear, and it was just really <laughs> odd. Okay, so, so you started getting a bunch of people at the peanut festival saying you're that that yes, kidnapper. Yes, people were recognizing me. Yeah. Okay, so, and this really started affecting your business. Yeah. All right. So what did you do about it? So then I, I was like, you know, this dude, I'm gonna put him on blast. I just want to say something. Uh, okay, this is Mary Kay here. This is who he was actually in the in the Michaels with right here. And I and I was the one who drove, and they took a picture of my car with my license plate and his face. I was in the car. Right. But there was no mention that I was there with my friend, and we were just shopping. That's all we were doing. Okay. And the story got built up, and you know, there's a picture of him, and he's just kind of like just. Being Andre, and yeah. and anyway, go ahead. All right. So so the thing is, is that me, I have like multiple Facebooks and several thousand followers. So I put them on blast. I straight up took a screenshot of the post. I made my own post, and my friends lit him up so hard. This dude had to shut down his YouTube. He had to close it, down. Wait, his he Facebook. had a YouTube. Yeah. He had they, to he had to shut down his YouTube channel. Yeah. They they hit up every social oh, media this dude goodness. had. And I was like, look, you don't, you don't do that. You don't just mess with random people that you don't know, especially if they have a big following. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, the, I'm going to go ahead and ask this question because I know people in the comments are going to ask it anyway. Yeah. Were they profiling? 
I wouldn't be surprised. I say yes. I say you, yes. You, you're you're going to say I yes. I say absolutely yes. I'm, okay. <laughs> I would say yes as well. Yeah. All right. So that's it for this story, guys. And uh, congratulations. I'm a kidnapper. I'm a famous kidnapper. Oh, one last detail. So I started signing pictures as the, the Nutfest Napper, and the customers started laughing. Every time a customer recognized me, I... <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be what I title this now, the Nutfest Napper. Yes. Okay, that's the title of this This video is going to be, the Nutfest. Okay, go on. You are so precious. <laughs> so, like, every time a customer would recognize me and decide to still get a picture, I'd be like, I'm the Nutfest Napper. <laughs> and I just made a joke out of it. Wow. So you just kind of turned into the skid at that point. Yes. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say congratulations for standing up for yourself. Thank and you. Thank you for the coffee. Uh, yes, congratulations for standing up for yourself. Good job. Um, this, yeah. Uh, for you guys out there, write it down in the comments. What is your opinion on this? Do you think uh, that they profiled? Has anything like this ever happened to you? And what did you do about it? So put that down in the comments. And that's going to be it for this one. Uh, one more little pan around the room. Just kind of get a setting. And back to Iska. See you on the next one.